Yo, what's up everybody and welcome back to another video. You know we cooking that boom bap today. If this is your first time watching, I'm a music producer of over 10 years and on this channel right here, I show producers how to make some of the best boom bap style beats. Now today's video is sponsored by Boom Bap University. Boom Bap University is pretty much courses on Boom Bap. So anything about sampling, anything about creating Boom Bap beats, that's where it's at, Boom Bap University. That's where you can pick up your cooking that Boom Bap masterclass, over two hours worth of information on Boom Bap. So make sure you grab that course up, link in the description below. Let's get into the video. So I was digging in one of my favorite places, uh, tracklib.com. Went to tracklib, was just going through samples, trying to find something to chop up because the homie Just Jared sent me a new pack, this drum pack. So I was like, you know, let me cook something up. But I wanted to find a sample. So I went to tracklib, grabbed a sample by Spyro Gyra uh, called Paula Paw Prince. Hey, pretty dope, I guess. But it's a jazz sample. Uh, so I got it here in Serato sample. I'm already kind of put it across the pads, chopped it up a little bit um, to, you know, what I just needed now. So, you know, just want to try some stuff out before I lay like a good drum pattern out. So let me show you what I got so far as far as the chops go. Pretty much it. I just have like a bunch of like random, just random chops. So I, I want to just kind of like figure out like a dope pattern. Not even like a complete pattern, just like some like sequences to just kind of get like a drum pattern started. Like I said, Just Jared, he sent me over his new pack, Chronicles of Grit Volume 2 is what it's called. He's got drum loops, drum one shots, uh, some kits as far as Foley kits, grit kits, hi-hat kits, a lot of good stuff in here. So. If you want that kit, you know, just hit the link up there and grab up that kit from the homie Just Jared. Um, and then there's a coupon code that you guys can use below as well. Oh, he sold me with that right there. Y'all know I love hard, heavy drums. He sold me with that one. That one's pretty dope right there. So that's just a couple of like the drum loops. I'm gonna probably go through some of these um, one shots and just see what I can pull out from that. Probably gonna, I might just build it up on the playlist here. I'm gonna build this up on the playlist. I'll do something different this time. I'm just gonna do like a simple boom, Boom, pat, boom, bap, uh, like drum pattern. Just something simple and then start adding like extra stuff in along the way, like extra kicks and stuff. I like 170. You guys know I love 170. That's like the God tempo to me, 170. Um, so I'm gonna make Serato sample sync to that, which it already has and it's in single time. So just to make sure that the chops are right. Might end up slowing this down a little bit too. Okay, got a good little kick snare pattern. But I wanna see where the sample is gonna take me before I start putting like percussion in.
Okay, I'm so I'm kind of hearing a little bit of something. I want to slow it down just a tad, probably 167. And I'm going to just throw something in, like a good good pattern in, like I was just doing, and just kind of add in those chops as I build. So many different things that I could do to this now that I'm, I'm seeing. Okay, so I'm going to actually extend this out just to make it longer so that I can then like put better like chops or extra chops inside of the of the track. So it's going to be like a long pattern here. So I'm going to do the same thing and I'm just going to duplicate what I've already done. All right, so finally, I've worked out the pattern of how I wanted to do it. I had so many different things that I was messing around with and like changing out like chops and things like that. So I got like a good solid pattern of the chops for the piano. So check this out. Before I do anything else with the drums or anything like that, I want to point out that I did change up the chops, just the timing of the chops. So now it's like one of the piano hits when the snare actually hits. So that makes it change the groove up a little bit. So now I can kind of do a little bit more with the drums. I want to like get a hi-hat to like follow every snare. So like right after the snare hits, like the neck, that hi-hat will hit. So I'm going to do that for pretty much like every snare here. The groove is about to be crazy. I hope y'all feeling this. If you're feeling it, give it a thumbs up. This groove is, is about to be nuts. Thank you, Jared. Like the sounds are just like fitting so perfect with like what I'm trying to do. So like every time I go to like a certain sound, like it, it just fits so perfect, it's crazy. So yes, I'm gonna be crazy and I'm gonna add like more hi-hats in there to follow along with the rest of it. But I'm gonna turn them down. I'm gonna see what they sound like when they're low. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna have them directly on time. I just wanna see what they sound like, you know, low. So I'm gonna follow the other like time frame that I have of the other hi-hats. So this is at like 18, this is at like 11. So I wanna find like a good balance point between, you know, those to find that groove that I like. I like this. I like this so far. Like every, it, like 
it, it fell into place. It's just dope. I got a drum loop, or not a drum loop, but like a fill that I'm gonna put in put in here that he like has in the pack too. Sounds pretty dope. I'm gonna use this real quick. All right, so I'm going through like another change of heart with the pitch. I like the pitch, but I don't like the pitch. That would be a dope pitch, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep that. So I wanna probably go back down. Okay, um, now let me figure out a bass line. This right here is gonna be very simple. It's just like, That's pretty much it. I just wanted to follow that main melody that I have throughout the whole thing. So yeah, I'm gonna drop this bass line in. That's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to keep it real simple and I may even go back and get freaky with it, but this bass line doesn't really need to be that crazy. It's just something very to the point. And I feel like scratches, DJ scratches, that would be the next level right here to this, to really take this beat to like another plateau, like some dope, you know, scratch and stuff like that. That would be really dope. But I'm gonna play the beat back so you can check out like what it sounds like right now before I put like scratches and stuff in there. Yeah, y'all, <laughs> I think that we made a banger. I feel like this is a banger. I feel like this is really dope for what it is. Um, finding that jazz sample, chopping those chops and like rearranging those chops to make something dope. That's, that's boom bap. That's what it is, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, I took a sample, was able to chop it up, rearrange those chops, throw some good drums on the shout out to the homie Just Jared. You guys can grab his uh, pack up, the pack that I used here. If you're a supporter of the channel you know on patreon you will get these sounds on patreon the sounds that i used in the beat today but yeah make sure you support the homie just jared use the coupon code get the full pack um you know so that you can you know create what i created today that's some fire make sure you subscribe make sure you smash that thumbs up button please because it shows everybody else the videos and my other content as well makes them feel like hey if you like it, obviously somebody else would like it too. So yeah, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the notifications as well. That way you don't miss any more videos, all right? I'm gonna get up out of here, y'all. And until next time, I hope this video inspired somebody to go create. Go create that boom bap, all right? That's what we do around here. We cook that boom bap. And if you are not trying to cook boom bap, you probably shouldn't watch the videos because that's what I be doing. So yeah, I'm out of here, y'all. Peace out. <laughs>